All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and our peace, love, and salutation to you, Aki, and is pushing his truth and true sincerity. I'm the brother I know from the gym at Atlanta Church, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. We're just going to go into the filth of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, and where it's prophesied in the Bible and its outcome, all right? So this is from The Guardian, all right, this article right here, all right? It says, thousands, tens of thousands across the United States march in support of black trans people, transgenders, okay? We know what the scriptures say concerning transgenders. In lower one, I'll get to that less. I mean, scripture, excuse me. But it says, protesters dressed in white attend Hughes Riley of Brooklyn. Two black trans women killed in space of 24 hours last week. So two men dressed up like women got killed last week. All right, basically, that's what that is. All right, I'm gonna just read this little paragraph. It says, tens of thousands of people rallied across the United States on Sunday, the previous Sunday, to campaign for the rights of black transgender people, a group particularly at risk of violence and of being killed. In New York City, thousands of people gathered at the Brooklyn Museum to demand fair treatment for black trans people, where an estimated 25,000 marched along the Hollywood Walk of Fame and an all Black Lives Matter demonstration. All right. So, as we know, this Black Lives Matter organization is owned by, uh, well, the, the face of it is two lesbian women, and they're doing nothing to push uh, fornication in our people, man. You know, lesbianism, homosexuality, pedophilia, transgenderism, the, hell, the whole LGBT BT community, all right, is uh, in the forefront of this Black Lives Matter. So when you say Black Lives Matter, you're basically saying the rights of homosexuals and lesbians and transgenders matter, because that's who owns it. And that's what they're marching for in uh, New York for trans, for black trans people. So this is what America promotes. It promotes homosexuals, which the scriptures condemns, lesbians, transgenders, and this these people say that God fearing people. So this is uh, Revelation 17 and one, and there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me. Come thither, I will show thee the judgment of the great one, the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. That's Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. The word uh, Babal means uh, confusion, man. There's a lot of confusion here. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. The wine of her fornication is, is these things in this article. Transgenders, homosexuals, lesbians pansexuals, transsexuals, bestiality. This is what the grand, so-called grand old USA promotes here, okay? And they spread it across to these other nations as, uh, for example, last year, India passed laws on people can be, uh, men can be open homosexuals, okay? This, this fornication, this wine that all the nations are getting drunk off of, they're taking a big swig all right, and America's handing in the bottle. And here you go. You know, you, you hand somebody a drink. They, you got a big red cup or a big glass, and they're pouring the whole bottle into it. That's what America is doing to these other nations, giving them that uh, fornication, man. I'm going to skip down to verse uh, 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So everything that America says goes against the scriptures. And this place is confusing. Just look on your uh, highway, man. You know, you got signs that say, we're, uh, we're trying to defeat cancer, but who, who's selling cigarettes and cancerous food? You know, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of things that just are, uh, you know, simple, simple confusion here. So the next scripture that I have is in... Um, Second Corinthians, this keeps coming out a lot. Second Corinthians uh, 2 and 11. It says, uh, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Black Lives Matter is one of Satan's devices, man. 
All right, they're going to start labeling so-called black folks as terrorists, even though it was funded by a so-called white man. We all know it's George Soros, okay? And three lesbian women or two lesbian women are the head of this Black Lives Matter. You can't just want to join in and to Black Lives Matter and protest without, without examining these whole matters. Like with this guy, Rayshard Lewis Brooks, whatever his name was, the guy that got shot in the Wendy's uh, parking lot. Hey, he was totally out of line, man. But our people, they get emotional, get riled up, and they want to be a part of something. But the scriptures say, follow not a multitude to do evil. So you got to examine, you got to get into the research of looking up these organizations who funded it. If the white man is funding it, something is fishy, man. Some, some should spark a, a, you know, a, um, a light bulb in your head, man. Like, damn, if a white man sponsor it, man, what the hell are they doing? They're promoting transgenders and homosexuals having rights. And I'm going to get that scripture right quick. Because this is a law in the Bible, all right? But these uh, so-called white people say they're God-fearing, but they allow this to happen. But the scriptures condemn this that act. Leviticus 20 and 13, if a man also allow a mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So this is the consequence for man being with a man. All right, and most of these transgenders, they 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 are men that lie with men. That's that's just a given fact. Okay, so what does the scripture say about men dressing like women? All right, for a God fearing country called America. No, the God of this country is gold, oil, and drugs. That's what the white man gets rich off. All right, he gets rich off of slavery. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Hebrew Israelites, just how like in ancient Egypt. Pharaoh was oppressing the children of Israel. Same thing going on here today. Deuteronomy 22 and uh, 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So women, really, through the spirit, you come into this knowledge, you know, women should, uh, you know, address themselves like a woman should. Putting on, women putting on um, pants is putting that transsexual energy as well. Because when that word trans, man, I believe it means to go over. So you're going over to another uh, gender, so-called, when you want to get your rod chopped off and you want to be a woman. And a lot of people are regretting that lifestyle, man. You look at these people in this lifestyle, man, they're totally bugged out in the mind. You work with some of these people, okay? They don't know what the hell is going on. It's like demons. They got, they're got they just full of demons, man. But this is what Mystery Babylon promotes. They promote the Tyler Perry's. Something is wrong when a man... Is making hundreds of millions of dollars for dressing like a woman, man. This, this society is totally backwards. Continuing on, it says, Neither shall a man put on woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. But this is what America promotes. All right, this is why the Lord is going to send his judgment to America, man. And it's written in these scriptures. All right. So, uh,. Speaking of destruction, let's go to Amos real quick. Just end it off. I'm um, we'll gonna go to Amos. Amos a little bit further. Amos chapter nine. All right, Amos chapter nine. And uh, verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, power, which is the name of Jehovah, are upon the sinful kingdom. And this is America. The, the sinful kingdom is America. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. How is he going to destroy it? By these thermonuclear missiles, man. Matter of fact, um, let me get Isaiah right quick. Isaiah 54. Just real quick, Akim. Um, Isaiah 54 and um, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire and that bring forth an instrument for his work and I created the waste to destroy it. That's talking about these intercontinental ballistic missiles that these uh, scientists came up back with, you know, back in the 1920s and 30s. All right. Now these countries have nuclear capability. Look at Pakistan. Look at Iran. That's why the scriptures say, uh, what does it say? To let the weak say I am strong. North Korea has nuclear capability. You're going to see more and more talks about these countries testing these uh, ICBM missiles, man. All right, because we're in that time. It says, Behold the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it 
from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. He's going to reserve a remnant. Jumping down to verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not over, overtake nor prevent us. If you're living in that type of lifestyle, all right, you're thinking that you can't do any wrong. You need to repent for your for the wickedness, man. That can be forgiven. That is a sin that can be forgiven. But a lot of our people are just too caught up in that, and they're gonna get caught up in this destruction, man. All right. So uh, I got one more scripture. I think it was the Sirach. Just to preset this, uh, give me one second. But this is what America promotes, man. Then, then you wonder why, when you see that sign at camp that says America should be, be destroyed by thermal nuclear fire, that's all the will, will of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, we're just reading out the words of the scriptures. We actually have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to break these scriptures down. All right, your favorite celebrities and athletes don't have this power. They can talk about the Israelites. But they really need to sit down and listen as well. Alright. So this is uh, Sirach. Chapter 12. Verse 6. It says. For the most high hate of sinners. Okay. So that goes against that Christianity. Oh, uh, God just hates the sin. No he hates the sinners. Okay. And that lifestyle. That, that trans life. That homosexual life. That lesbian life. That pansexual. Whatever the hell is out there. Life. That's against the scriptures. The Most High hates. God hates. Okay, God hates. Get that through your head. All right? And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. What is the, one of the ways that thermonuclear destruction, man? Just look up these different countries that have nuclear capability. If I actually once look up what Russia's doing every other day. Pay attention to what uh, Vladimir Putin and Russia is doing. Pay attention to what North Korea is doing. All these other countries. Pay attention to... Um, the, e, the EU, NATO, pay attention to these things because we're coming into that time where the Most High is going to send judgment and keep with them against the mighty day of their punishment. And, and that punishment is going to be that thermonuclear fire, man. All right. So this that's this is the reward for this mystery Babylon, man. Through the spirit, mystery Babylon has been exposed by the prophets of Yahweh Shemel Shai. So hey, with that, Lord, when that was edifying to the next time, I'm going to say Shalom.